In the previous video, we talked about well planning and we learned about the main value adding activities and where the most time is spent. Go back and have a look if you like. Now we're going to explore how you should invest in well planning, how to get the most out of your money. And as last time, I promise you a pro tip if you stay all the way to the end. Pay attention because this is the most important improvement you can do to your well planning. We know the phases and main activities from the previous video, so let's take it one step further. We are looking at how to influence well planning. This chart is a project management chart for the, from the Project Management Institute, renowned for their in-depth material. The chart is showing you time in one axis and a dual axis with cost of change and ability to influence. The red line shows the stakeholder influence, risk and uncertainty, how much you can impact the project and how much uncertainty you have. To the far left, you have the target and the options are endless. Reuse an old well, shallow or deep sidetracks, new well, new technology, plugging technologies, rig options, reservoir entry strategies, mud systems. Everything is an option. The risk of hitting the target is also high as few decisions has been made in the planning. If you sanction a well at this level, you carry great uncertainty of what is going to be done. Following the red line to the right, you're making more decisions and the uncertainty is being reduced. As you can see, the cost of change is increasing. You have already locked in some major decisions and going back on this will come at a penalty. Maybe equipment has been ordered, a study has been kicked off, or you have invested many hours on the wrong details. The general y-axis is without specific numbers, but for well planning, you can make impact in the $20 million range on the left-hand side of this chart. On the right-hand side, you can have take penalties of the same range if you underinvested early. Operations is where our industry is hurting today because we tend to make way too many decisions in operations. The operation crews have enough on their plate handling rig machinery, fluids and drilling operations. Well plans should be complete with all contingencies and alternate designs. Over and over again, we see engineers are redesigning wells while the rig is waiting due to limited investments on the left hand side of this chart. That was a run through of how and when to invest in well planning with background in project management theory. I promised you a pro tip for staying all the way through. The best way to plan a well is to make sure everyone has access to the same information for historical reference wells and for the well you're planning. Having the same information let you have more detailed discussion and higher payout. That's a pro tip. Next video is giving more detail into challenges of how we're planning today. And then the video after that again, will give some opportunities on how we can do things with the ProWell Plan platform. So thanks for watching.